What's up beautiful people, this is Mike from My Gadgets Full and yes, it is 4 in the morning and I'm editing this video and it's gonna be up by the morning as I promised. It's gonna be somewhere around like 8 central time and I'm using this Kalman software right here to calculate the maximum luminance of C1 and C10. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that because it's gonna help me a lot and also give this video a thumbs up because it's gonna reach out to more people. All right, so what you're looking at here is the LG OLED C1 in the game optimizer mode, which is the game mode, but it's called game optimizer now. And we're gonna make sure that both the TVs are in the same color temperature. So we're gonna go and make sure the white balance, we have the color temperature at zero. In Zero means in the LG OLED C1 that it's at the medium color temperature. And if you go on the LG OLED C10, it will just say straight out medium. So we're gonna make sure that both the TVs are in the same setting. So we're gonna make sure on the LG OLED C10 by going to the uh, HDR pop-up menu, it says game mode. And we're gonna make sure that we reset the menus. And also the energy saving has to be off and the OLED screen saver, we have the logo luminance adjustments. I'm gonna turn it off just because I don't want the OLED TV to dim the brightness of that static image showing up as a pattern on the screen. So we're gonna turn that off. And also in the white balance, you can see the color temperature is at medium. So that means we are equally on the both TVs in the temperature level. We are at medium and we are at zero on the LG OLED C1. And what are we going to be doing? First, we're going to be testing it on the C1 and then we're going to compare it with the C10. And I'm going to all settings on the LG OLED C1 to make sure that all that energy saving option is turned off so that we are not limiting the TV and also OLED screen saver we have the adjust logo brightness off. Don't do that in your TV because it's supposed to prevent the burn-in. I'm just doing it for the reason that so it doesn't limit the brightness. And what we're gonna be doing, we have the Spears and Munsell disc inside here, which is for the Ultra HD bench benchmarks. We're gonna do 10% testing first in the game mode on the LG OLED C1, and we're gonna hit the major luminance. So right now it's in the 10% window in the HDR game mode, and we start with uh, 787, 789 nits. So it's gonna keep climbing up and we're gonna have to record our peak luminance. And we're gonna have to wait for that for a few seconds. Maybe I'll fast forward this a little because I had to wait for at least like 45 seconds for this. All right, guys, you can see that it just keeps climbing up and there will be a moment where it's going to just start dropping and it's going to be dropping significantly because it's OLED TV. So right here, we see that when it reached 830 nits, after that, it starts to nosedive uh, below from 830. So that's our measurement. We're going to uh, note that 830 nits on the 10 person window in the HDR game mode. And once we are done with the 10% window reading, I'm going to go and do that 100% window in the game mode on the LG OLED C1. It's going to keep dropping. You can see this. This is how the Sony OLED TV also performed the same way. The peak brightness goes there, you know, and after that it starts like that nose dive and it keeps dropping down because the OLED pixels, they get heated and they don't perform as good because and they're not going to be any content in real life it's just going to be imposed on the screen for that long so it's going to be about peak brightness and going down okay now we're going to set the 100 person window and we're going to test our game mode on lg oled c1 and see how much of the nits do we get as you can see the meter is there and we are doing 100 person window and we are looking at 155 nits I remember RTings or ratings doing the peak brightness test and they did 100% window for LG OLED C10, which was around 115 nits. So we are about the same for the 100% window, variance of about like, you know, a couple of nits, which is totally fine. So 100% window last year, LG OLED C10, but we're gonna be testing our own. So we're gonna be looking into that as well. So 155 nits was the peak on the LG OLED C1 in the game mode. And now we're gonna test it on the 10% window in the filmmaker. And then we're gonna test it in the 100% window in the filmmaker mode. So we're gonna go and switch the um, 
HDR mode to the filmmaker and we're going to reset it to make sure that we are in the out of the box factory factory settings filmmaker mode on both the TVs in the game mode and in filmmaker we just want that out of the box comparison because lots of people will not be calibrating their TVs and they don't want to spend like three four hundred dollars for calibration so we're gonna keep that in mind and make sure that we are doing it in a way that you would use it out of the box and uh, we're gonna go and um, check make sure that the um, what do you call it picture mode is reset because we want to go to the factory default settings on the filmmaker and on filmmaker the color temperature will be the warm 50 because that's equal to warm 2 on both TVs so we're gonna make sure we have both on the same parameters so right now we're just focused on LG OLED C1 and now we are doing the 10% window in the filmmaker mode I know I'm really sorry that this video is getting a little longer because I just wanted to show you guys the process like how I just didn't want to just show you guys the numbers and wanted to show you how this whole setup works and how this whole thing works so now we are testing 10 person window on the filmmaker mode in HDR in uh, LG OLED C1. And we are looking at about 750, sub 750 start and we are climbing up to 757, 758. And we're gonna have to do the same thing. Note that peak brightness whenever it reaches the max and then starts to drop. So that's the moment when pixels are literally hot and they reach to that hot level and then they start to cool down and try to you know drop the brightness from there. So as far as now we have 766 nits. It is climbing up slowly so just have some patience with me. I've been waiting for literally over about um, 30 to 45 seconds when I was getting my results done. And this is in the real time reading. This is how it happens. I'm not fast, fast forwarding right now. So you're going to see when it reaches the peak brightness after that it's going to start dropping significantly. All right, right there at 779 nits in the filmmaker mode. That's we note for our C1 10% window. And uh, that's where it starts to drop after reaching 779 nits mark. So we have the difference between the game mode and the filmmaker is about uh, 50 nits lower. So that's pretty much right because we are in the warm 2 mode. Now we're going to test the 100 person and I'm expecting about, you know, 8 to 10 nits drop here. Because uh, we had about 155 nits. So we are about 144 nits. Um, that's about 12 nits drop as compared to our 100 person window in the game mode. So we have 144 nits in the 100 person window in the filmmaker mode. Now we're going to do the same thing on the LG OLED C10. Now we're going to see that how it compares with the LG OLED C1. So we are almost done here. Um, it's easier to get the peak brightness on the 100% window because it doesn't climb up like crazy uh, as we have seen on the 10% window. Because 10% window, you have more room for the peak brightness. But in the 100% window, you don't have much, especially in the OLED TVs. Okay, now we're going to look at to um, look into the LG OLED C10. All right, guys, so now you're looking at the LG OLED C10. We are in the game HDR picture mode, and we're going to make sure that in advanced controls in the white balance, we are at the medium temperature, same as what we had in the LG OLED C1 at zero. That's medium, and we are here medium as well. And now we're going to go and do the same testing. We're going to run the 10 person window, and we're going to hit that measure uh, peak luminance and see what results do we get. Uh, just remember that on LG OLED C1 10% window, we had the 830 nits. 
And to be honest, I've been playing the games on the LG OLED C10 and C1 side by side. There's little difference in brightness when it comes to the LG OLED C1. It's a uh, it's it's a little bit more than what we have on the LG OLED C10. So the difference is there, but it's really tad bit difference. It's minor difference. It's not like crazy 200 nits difference or maybe 100 plus nits different in, difference in the 10% uh, window. So we're looking at 775 right now, and uh, we have to notate like wherever you know it's gonna start dropping. All right, 779, 7, 7, 780. It kind of seems like it's uh, slowing down, not climbing up as fast, you know, as fast the C1 was climbing up to 830. Okay, so the 785 and after that we have that drop in the peak brightness. So that means that 785 was the highest that we attained on the LG OLED C10. And after that you can see that brightness starts to just drop and it's just it's just going to keep dropping because it has reached that uh, peak luminance level. So once we have that reading, 785, the difference between th uh, the LG OLED C1 and LG OLED C10 uh, is about 45 nits. So it's a 45 nits in the 10% window. It's not like in 100% window. It's just in the 10%, we have 45 nits. So it's not really a big or huge difference in HDR, but it is actually because it's slight minor differences in the you know, LG OLED C1, the motion is a little better, the clarity is a little better, and now the HDR is a little better. So there's just a little, little better things and which makes like LG OLED C1 kind of like LG OLED C10 plus, you know, everything that C10 has and then plus, 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 plus in every department. Okay, now we are testing the LG OLED C10 for the game mode in the HDR and on 100% window and we have 145 nits. So 145 nits is actually 10 nits lower than the LG OLED C1, which is again a minor difference. But that's what I said, like LG OLED C1 is like uh, LG OLED C10 plus, you know, it's not a huge um, jump from the LG OLED C10 to C1, but there are improvements. So if you already own the LG OLED C10, you don't have to jump for LG OLED C1. You can do tweaks minor here and there and you'll still be fine. But if you didn't have the LG OLED C10, then I'll say that go with C1 because it's giving you all the latest stuff that you need, major imp uh, minor improvements, not the major improvements, but overall it makes a major impact, right? When the motion is a little better, the clarity is a little better, the colors out of the box are a little better. So why not just go with C1? And price is also like $400 different. So it's up to you, but I'm just giving you my opinion. Okay, now we're going to test the LG OLED C10 in the filmmaker mode for the 10 person window and let's see what do we get. All right, we have that 760 sub start and let's see where we're going to end in the filmmaker mode. I realized one thing since the beginning, like on the LG OLED C10, game mode was always a little dull than, you know, the other TVs out there. So that, that's that been normal with the LG OLED C10. So that's what I realized. The LG OLED C1 is kind of a little brighter when it comes to game mode versus the C10 being a little dull in the game mode. Okay, so for the LG OLED C10 in the 10 person window in the filmmaker right now we are and we are about 776 nits and we're gonna have to note our 
reading as soon as it gets to the peak brightness and right after that you will notice that the the peak luminance is going to start dropping so the peak is going to be where it stops and then starts uh, falling down and guys i'm going to be doing the calibration on the lg oled c1 completely on all the picture modes so if you're interested in all that make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you will know whenever the video goes up and also, it's going to help me a ton when you hit the like on this video. So please do that if you can. Thank you so much for watching this video completely. All right. So here we have the 782 where it's stuck. And that could be the peak. Yes. And then it drops down. So 782 nits, which is just three nits difference from the game mode in the LG OLED C10. Uh, just itself you know 785 in the game mode and then filmmaker mode has 782 which is warm too so that's surprising all right and that is actually more than what we have in the c1's uh, filmmaker mode in the 10 person window so we have three nits more in the lg oled c10's filmmaker um, 10 person window brightness so it's almost the same panel I believe the only thing is different that here is that the game mode is more brighter. I think it's maybe because of the new processor, the way they handle, uh, you know, the game mode, because I can tell when they are side by side, the C10 is a little dimmer than the LG OLED C1. So the game mode is for sure like more uh, brighter in the LG OLED C1. And this is the 100% window in the filmmaker mode where we are getting 145 nits, which is almost same as we had in the LG OLED C1 100% window. So guys, that's all I had from today's video. It took a lot of time to complete all of this. I know it's been delayed because I just wanted to make sure that I put some hours on the TV, make sure that, you know, it is, it is still not ready for calibration because it's going to take time. So but I'm still going to be wait, putting more hours on it, make sure like play some uh, content. And I'm trying to, I'll, I prefer warm um, color temperature. So I'm going to be putting the content and hours on it in the warm temperature because that's how the OLED TV tend to behave. Like if you watch your content in the uh, cool temperature most of the time and when it comes to calibration, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be very off, you know, and if you're already watching your stuff in warm temperature, it's going to be easier to get there because your OLED pixels tend to adapt, you know, it, it, it's really easier when you're watching already your content in warm and then your screen is just broken into that, you know, specific way. And uh, I'm going to go to the settings and show you guys how many hours I have so far on this because I had to go and get the LG OLED C10, the same size as C1 to just do the fair comparison. So it, I just got it a uh, day before yesterday, so it has 19 hours on it. And I posted on the community page about it that I have to get the C1055 inch because I don't have 55. I have a 48 inch that I use as monitor, and then I have a 77 inch that I use in my media room as my main uh, display. So I wanted to make sure that I do this fair comparison and use the same sizes. And also there's a gaming video that I have. I didn't get a chance to edit, but I'll be editing that soon, and that will be up maybe by tomorrow and the tomorrow by tomorrow i mean by wednesday so guys really thank you so much for stopping by today watching the video um i'll see you guys in another one until then peace out and stay safe